stopping by. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. And in this video, I'm just briefly going to touch on the adrenal glands as I promised that I would in terms of diabetes. And really what the adrenal glands, the, the primary role um, of, of, in terms of blood sugar level controls is really with the pancreas. But the adrenal glands does um, help to regulate blood sugar levels, especially in particularly in times of stress. So it's not supposed to be its everyday function. But for example, imagine you're walking down the street and you know a car got on, out of control and that car is coming right at you you know what happens you know the body responds the adrenal the adrenal gland re releases um adrenaline the hormone adrenaline or, or epinephrine in order to um and, and what that does is that it stimulates the muscle cells to put, um, produce, um, to convert the glyco, glyco um, gen into um, glucose and release it into the, the bloodstream because you're, we're in a state of, of um, fight or flight in that, you know, you're in danger and you've got to respond and you need that burst of energy. And so that's what the adrenal gland will do. So in, in that time when you need that burst of energy, it um, immediately stimulates um, the um, muscle cells to convert that glycogen into glucose and release it into the bloodstream because you need it. However, um, what happens is that the adrenal gland, and that is a stressful situation, for the body that is a flight or, or a fight or flight situation is a stressful situation for you know any of us so when you are in that state you're in a state of stress really that that is supposed to pass and then we go back to our normal selves but we human beings we have created a, a world for ourselves so i dare say we have created a life a generation and generations of it where we find ourselves in constant stressful situation some of it is psychological stress emotional stress all kinds of stress and so we put ourselves we are actually in a state of stress a lot of the time and that affects blood sugar level because when the body is in a state of stress that is what happens when it's in a state of stress it will constantly interfere with the blood sugar level balance in order to counter or to 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 um basically to help us and so um you know so and the adrenal gland is often ignored but that happened time after time that leads to adrenal fatigue and what that does is that that exacerbate the problem and it's not just um you know um emotional as i i noted and physical stresses Things that we eat, when you bombard the body with a lot of acidic foods, that is a form of stress that one is putting on the body. And, you know, that over time can lead to adrenal fatigue. And where we have, when the adrenal is fatigued, when the adrenal is down, it's low, it's not performing at optimal levels, then that in effect, you know does affect the blood sugar level balance because then it cannot um accurately you know um plays its role in terms of um properly regulating blood sugar levels and so that is um is really really key um like i say stress is stress does nobody no good many of us are stressed i've had my share of stress and I've had my stressful days, I can tell you. But when you're stressed, 
you find it's difficult to heal the body. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's a mess. It is a mess at, at every stage of life or every situation of life that you think of, you know. And so it is important that one find ways and means of dealing with stress whether it be yoga, you have to, you know, look at what you're eating, the diet that you're eating, constantly flooding the body with glucose that is from foods that are highly acidic, you know, does the body no good as I, you know, stated. And so we have to look at all of the ways in which we can um, relieve stress from the body, the mental stress, the physical stress, the emotional, emotional stress, what we are eating, you know. And as long as the body is in a state of stress, the blood sugar level will always be off. The blood sugar levels will always be off when the body is in a state of stress. And especially if you are already um, a diabetic and dealing with stress, that is a double whammy, as they would say. So, you know, so just be mindful of that. And this is probably something that I'll probably go into at some other point, but I wanted this to be kind of short <laughs> um, because I want in my next video to just go, to just go into some ways in which we can, um, you know, go about um, dealing with uh, or, or reversing rather type 2 diabetes. I hope you guys find this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you would like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!